Okay, so what we got to do now is, since the pigs were just in this pen a week ago, they weren't in here a long time, but they were in here long enough. We're going to check the soil temperature. Uh, talk to Cindy at Pathways Homestead, and as she said, as long as the temperatures were below 90, she thought we'd be okay. So we're using our good kitchen pampered chef thermometer here. We see that the temperature here is 73, but let's check it in three or four spots. That's perfect. Okay, so the reason we're checking the temperatures, we got to make sure it's below 90 degrees. If it's above 90, that means we're way too high in nitrogen, so we have to wait until that breaks down the soil. But we also added some Happy Frog soil conditioner. That Happy Frog also has uh, worm castings and bat guano in it, so that's going to help also with the, the feeding feed values of the soil. So everything that I've seen so far, we've done five or six tests. We're going to jump over a couple rows and check that outside row where the pig stayed the most. The chickens have been in here this morning already and scratched around a little bit, so that's good. All right, I'm going to say we're good to go. All right, you guys. All right, there you have it. <laughs> yep, so um, we got the small little garden ready for uh, for fall for fall planting. <laughs> we got the small garden ready for fall planting. So yes. um, now we just got to put some seeds in the ground and see what happens. Yes, and <laughs> like you saw, we're not doing real close together rows. We're keeping the space far enough apart where we got room to move. So uh, so we hope you guys like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. Let us know what you're thinking. And But most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya.